Ken Daniels with the uh, newest Red Wing, number 29, Steve Ott, your fourth training camp, because this is your fourth NHL team. Uh, is this one different than others? They all, all a little different, I guess. They are all a little different, but uh, I would say the main thing that's different is putting on that wing wheel now. Um, the excitement's been in my mind and my heart for a long time, and now to have this opportunity, I'm trying to take as much as advantage of it as possible. Well, being in Windsor, but born in Summerside, PEI, where did a love of the Red Wings begin? Well, we moved uh, military family, so we were moving all over the country. In eighth grade, I happened to move to Windsor, Ontario, uh, a little small town outside, went to high school there, and then kind of always settled back there. And obviously back in the heyday of the, the, the Wings when they were winning the Stanley Cups and uh, with this, the amount of character they had on that team, and also being a transplant, I finally found my team and kind of glued on to it uh, ever since the eighth grade. So, you know what, to, to have this opportunity, uh, never late than ever later on in my career, but I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Well, I remember when you came into the National Hockey League, and just so you know, a guy you obviously watched before you got here, Nick Lidstrom. And Nick said the toughest guy that he found to play against in the NHL uh, for a certain period of time was Steve Ott. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Uh, well, I think he's the toughest guy I think I've played against. Um, you know, I try to get a, a bunch of licks on him throughout my career, and, you know, you, you always try to go after some of the top end guys, and, and I'll tell you, he was the hardest guy to hit, and, and obviously the, the, the hardest uh, player to play against, uh, just his smarts and his skill level. So, uh, you know, it's a, I'll take it as a compliment, but uh, I think I'm, I'm definitely way more impressed with him than he'll ever be of me. Now, bad injury last year with St. Louis. You got back for the playoffs, missed most of last season. I guess the, the hamstring uh, problem you had. Are you fully recovered? You feel ready? I do. Uh, you know what? This is great to kind of get out there, get the field, training camp. Uh, this is obviously, I think, maybe my 17th camp or so. But uh, come exhibition, you want to get playing, get the legs going. I feel great. Uh, get the get the soreness out of it. The so, you know the the skating legs. Get everything going on and on. And uh, game one, you're ready to go. So you know what? I feel healthy. I'm very excited. I'm rejuvenated in the sense of uh, you know sitting on the couch all last year and and ready to play this year. Fourth line role, uh, obviously, you plan to play all 82, I mean, some maybe not, uh, what are you expecting? Well, hopefully a lot more than 82, we want to go for a long playoff run too, so uh, this, this, this is something, I, I feel like I'm an everyday player, I want to uh, play through the bumps and bruises like we all do on this team and uh, play as many and hopefully stay healthy, knock on wood, uh, with, with any type of role, if it's a fourth line role, if it's a guy that's up and down the lineup, whatever it has to be, uh, I'm that guy and, and I'm, I'm willing to do it. And a final thought, and some people may not know, uh, you're not just a winger, you're a pretty good face-off man. Where did you learn that and are you in Blash's system to be maybe taking some left side face-offs to help out? Yes, I think uh, we talked, obviously Glennie's really good on his power side, his backhand, and he's a right shot and I'm a left shot. and and my backside, backhand. So, you know, you have those two positions. I think we can cover both sides of the dot extremely well. Both guys, uh, you know, are, are good at face-offs, I guess you can say. And I'll tell you, I learned from Joe Neuendijk. I remember my first training camp uh, coming in, I put my stick down and he snapped that puck so, so fast back that I didn't even know what was going on. And it just continued to embarrass me and embarrass me. And, uh, you know, you, you get better after a few embarrassing moments out there on the ice. And, he, you know, he took the time to, to teach me at a young age and then practicing uh, all the time with Mike Medano and some of their guys, Stu Barnes, and a lot of these veteran guys, uh, you continue to, you know, hone your skills. Well, listen, that's what I like to say. At 34, you are, you're experienced, and you can pass on some of that to the other guys here. So uh, that'll be a big help, too. So welcome to Detroit, Steve. Thank you so much, Ken. All right. Steve Ott, and uh, stay with us right here for continuing coverage of the Detroit Red Wings training camp.